Hi, my name's Donna and I'm an author and scriptwriter. And today we're talking about procrastination, what it is, why it is, and what you can do about it. So the first thing is, and this is a really important thing to understand, is that procrastination is a rebellion against, a refusal to, a rejection of, and a resentment of being told what to do by others, by life, by yourself, or by time. Humans have free will and they love to use it, but they also like to get things done and achieve things. For instance, if you're watching this, you're probably a writer of some kind and you want to achieve, let's say, a story or a book or a script and yet you're feeling procrastination so having an understanding of what procrastination really is gives you an understanding of what to do about it so it's not just sit down and write for two hours there are aspects to it that help you to get on side with yourself Humans have a powerful fire inside of them and you can use it for you or against you. What you want to do is put your fire into your desire to write a sentence, to write a part of an outline, to take one little step forward that's what you want you want that fire that will inside of you to work for you and yeah we'll discuss a bit more how to do that but the thing is to understand that that rebellious nature is just not being okay with being told what to do and just accept that you don't want to be told what to do when to do it, how to do it, or if to do it. What you really want to do is to make your desire to achieve something today greater than your procrastination or your desire not to be told what to do or not to achieve something. So as a percentage, you want it to be over 50%, obviously, but to really move past procrastination, you probably want to get to about 70, 80% of really desiring what it is you want to do more than that other 30, 20% where you're just rebelling against that. Being told what to do. Now, one of the ways you can do this is to really work out your incentive of why you're wanting to achieve this thing in the first place. Why is it that you want to write this story, get this book done, write that script? Why did you start it in the first place? Be really honest with yourself about that. There may even be parts to that you're not aware of yet. If all you achieve today is writing out a list of why you even began or want to begin, this thing that you want to work on, you're a step away from procrastination and a step closer to getting something done today. So first things first, with this as much as with anything, just take the tiniest step you can, open the document or get your pen and open the book and start writing even just a word, a sentence. See how that feels. Don't say, right, I'm going to write eight hours today. I'm going to do a thousand words. Simply, if you're feeling procrastination, say to yourself, well, I'll start with a sentence and then see how it goes. It doesn't even matter what that sentence is like. It's about having something to work with later. If you've already done some writing, by the way, you may want to read what you've already previously written or contemplate the outline and see where you're at. And remember, you don't have to write in a linear fashion. If you feel that you have a really good grasp 
of the ending or the middle or one aspect, one part of it, work on that. You want to allow your muse to inspire you and feel the flow of creativity. And one way of doing that is creating the space for that part of you to turn up or whoever you believe your muse is. You want to create the space. You want to get the ambience right. You want to set the tone. You want to create the right atmosphere for your work to flow through you. And that's the thing, you want your passions and desires to work for you, not against you. So while sometimes you're just not going to want to do that thing that day and it really feels like the right thing to do, that might be intuition, which takes us to the next part of this, which is differentiating between procrastination and a need for more information, more research, more exploration, more inspiration. Perhaps you just don't have the next right bit aligned. Now, I wrote quite a bit of my feature film and it was the final one. I couldn't quite get the feel for it, right? So I had all the ideas, I'd done the outline and I was really wanting to and ready to write this last part. And it took me a while to realize I just didn't like where I'd set it. I needed to change cities. It can be something really simple. We get stuck in these very particular boxes that we put our minds in and our characters and our stories, and they're not necessary. It's your story. If you want to change a part of it to make it work better for you, you can do that. And yeah, do find the information that you need, do the research that you need to do to feel ready for that next step. But you do want to be really honest with yourself <laughs> about what is still just another step down the road of procrastination <laughs> and what is genuinely helping you move forward with your work. At the end of the day, if you've written a sentence or had a further thought process about how you can get this to work, and I strongly suggest writing that down, um, if you've done one line of your outline or if you've written 2,000 words, whatever it is you've done, if you've taken that step forward, at the end of the day, you can look back. And I strongly suggest as a writer to review your day and really feel into what, what worked, what didn't work. Did you achieve anything <laughs> that you wanted to achieve that day? And if not, why not? And it does mean being really honest with yourself, but also really gentle with yourself in that, well, now I know that doesn't work. It's not the end of the world. Don't catastrophize with yourself. You really don't want to do that as a writer. You want to be gentle in taking those small steps and then at the end of the day saying, well, I did, I achieved this, well done. And tomorrow that means I can achieve this bit more because every day you do do something to move your story forward. Remember, you can be world building or character development or character art writing. You can do the outline. You can, like, there's so many aspects to this. Any part that you do, it doesn't always have to be just the script or just the book. It can be the behind the scenes stuff. And it can mean doing research if that's what you need. And remember to stay inspired. Allow the process itself to be as enjoyable as you think that end product is going to be. And that can be really tricky as a writer because we feel that urge to get something done. We put that pressure on ourselves. We feel that stress. And that takes away from all the beauty and the magic of the actual process of writing. And it's no wonder we procrastinate <laughs> because we make it seem far too much like work and far too little like creativity. And you are creating something if you're writing a story or writing a script or writing a book. There is a genuine flow to that. And to be in that space, you do need to create the right atmosphere, tone, and that ambience of 
whatever it is for you. For me, I had to really honor what I did need in those small things, create the right temperature, the right lighting, and doing work beforehand to get rid of excess energy. So exercising or going for a walk in nature for me. And there's other things I do, but whatever's specific for you, work out what actually works. And if worst comes to worst and you are far too rebellious, use that energy of rebellion to achieve something else that you had on your want to do for that day. So if you're like getting really anxious or aggressive or upset about not taking that step, not doing that bit of writing, go for a run, <laughs> do some weight training, go for a walk, clean those dishes, clean the house. You still have achieved something and that's plan B. Plan A is to get your energy, your fire, your will, your passion working for you. And plan B is getting something else done with all of that fire and fuel inside of you. And then perhaps afterwards you'll feel like doing what you wanted and needed to do. Just remember to differentiate between procrastination and needing just a bit more information, inspiration or something else. I hope this has helped and I hope you have a beautiful day. Thanks for watching. If you did get something from this, please do like and share and subscribe and I will see you again. Bye.